Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Monday, March 11th, 2024, and let's see how well this one treats us, shall we? So I've got a 3 and a 4 in rows 2 and 3, so I can put a 3 in one of these two, and for some reason I accidentally hit the highlight. I did not want to do that. I put a 3 in one of these two, I can put a 4 in one of these two, and I think those are the only repeat digits I get. In the middle rows, here's one and here's six. So six is here. One is in one of these two, but not there because of that one, so that's a one. Uh, these two ones follow up to force a one in one of these three, I believe. And the bottom three rows, nine, five, two, four, six, one, eight, seven. So I have no repeats. What about the middle, uh, the leftmost three columns? Here's a nine and a five in the same spot. So this is a hidden five, nine pair actually, and can't be six. Because five, these two can only go into these two. Nine, by the definition, can also only go in these two. Uh, and then beyond five and nine, I've got three, one, two, four once each. I'm done. In the middle three columns, I've got sixes here and I have all three of them. 48192 otherwise, I'm done. In the rightmost three columns, one I already placed. Seven, I have all three of them. Three, four, five, six, eight. I'm done, because I can't do anything with that. Okay, now I'm gonna look and see what other things I can fill in semi-easily. Six looks up and can't be in those cells. This six looks over and can't be in these cells, so six has to go here in box three. That's the only space for it. By definition, because eight also looks up and can't be here, now eight is forced into one of those two. Uh, nine can't be here, so nine goes there. I can't do anything with it. This line looks into box three, so those nine in box three can only be in one of those two. Okay, one and five both look up and can't be here. So one and five have to be, oh, this can't be one, ah, this couldn't have been one either. So five, let's see, this five looks up, this five looks over. Unfortunately, that leaves way too many spots for a 5, doesn't it? But that 6 was a crossing, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that. Uh, maybe not like that. I'll mark it in this forest green or something. I can easily remember how I found that digit. Um... Row 8 is interesting because I have all the even digits placed. So the remaining unfilled cells can only be odd digits, and they can't be 1. So 3, 5, 7, 9 are left. This sees 5 and 9, so this is 3 or 7 only. This one sees 1 and 9. It's 3, 5, or 7. This one, I think, can be anything other than 1. And this one sees 1... 5, 7, so this is 3 or 9. Okay, so 5 is in one of those two. That means 5 is in one of these two, but it can't go here because of this 5, so 5 in box 9 is placed right there. This 5 and this 5 now mean that's a 5, which means that's an 8. This is now a triple, 1, 2, 9. And let me go mark that, and then clean it up. So these two are a pair, three, four, respectively. Okay, this, I'm down to four cells there in column eight. Two, four, eight, nine. 
this is two, four, or eight. No, it can't be eight or nine. This is two, four, or nine. It can't be eight. This is two, four, or eight. It can't be nine. And I think this could be any of them. Okay, well, that's interesting. So, eight's here. Nine is here. Okay, so nine is, in fact, forced to be in one of those two now, because it can't go here. One, four, five, seven, eight says I need two, three, eight, nine for the rest of column seven. Uh, this is two, three, or eight. No, this is two or three. It can't be eight or nine. This is two, three, or nine. It can't be eight. Okay, I missed a digit here. One, four, seven, five, eight, uh, two, three, six, nine. Okay, this can't be six. This still could be, as can that. So six is in one of those two. And that was not all that fruitful. Really. Um, okay. Two, four, six, three in row three. So, uh, what else looks in here? Okay, these can't be five or nine. This can't be nine either. So those can't be nine. Nine can only be here or here. Do I have a 5-9 crossing? I might, actually. Because I have 1, 5, 7, 8, 9 to fill some combination of those cells. Now, neither of these are 5 or 9. And this one isn't 1. That's not 8. That's not 1 or 9. Okay, yep, so five is definitely one of these two, but we knew that already. That doesn't help with other digits. Um, one looks down, but I can't do much with it. Three looks down, but I can't do much with it. Let's see, one and nine both look down on those cells. Nine's out there and there, but nine could be here or here or here in box three or eight. That's not helpful. Uh, one, okay, five looks in here. This is one, but that's no help. Seven, I have no help with. Three, four, five, seven. It says I need one, two, six, eight, nine. In row two. And this happens to see one, six, nine, and two. That's a hidden eight. So that'll force eight, one of those two, because this can't be eight. This is now not two, six, or eight. And so I've got nothing but odd digits left for box two. Neither of those can be 5 or 9, so these the, yeah. these two are from 137. That's 8. Means this is now not 8, and it already can't be 1, 2, 
or 9, or 8. So that's a hidden 6. I'm going to go ahead and mark that digit, too. This is now not 6, 8, 9, so that's 1, 2, that's 1, 9, and that's 1, 2, 9, so that's a triple in row 2. It's interesting, I've got two 129s interacting with each other. Okay, 9 is in one of those two. I do not care for offsets, but that's what I've got. Uh, these are not 3, 5, 6, 8, 9. So they are from 1, 2, 4, and 7. This sees 1 and 2. Okay, those cells are not 1, 6, 8, 9. They are from 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Which doesn't really tell me much. Two, four, five, nine in box seven says I need one, three, six, seven, eight. Now this can't be one or six, so this is three, seven, or eight. Explicitly. And this one is three six or eight or no okay well these can't be four this can't be four because of a pair that's not four so where does four go in column two it goes here therefore that's not four and I get nothing else with it Hey, that suspiciously looks like a triple. But I don't have one or six yet. This three seven three seven eight three eight. I think that's uh, that's turned into a triple, hasn't it? Because two four two three four five seven eight nine. I only need one and six, and those are the only places they can go. I'll be I'll be. That's pretty powerful. So. There's a 5 as a crossing here. I found a 1, 6 pair essentially by crossing because that 3, 7, 8 turns into a triple. As does this 3, 7, 8. So 1, 6 here, which means this can't be 6, therefore that cell is in box 9 because there's only two spaces left for it. And this is now a triple. Four is forced. No. Four can still be here, so I do not have four limited in box. Well, yes, I do, actually. Four must go here, which means it can't go there. Those are the only spaces in box nine for a four. So this four. And this 4, which means a 4 is down here, but not there because this one looks down. So I have a 1, 6, and a 7, and a 5. So 1, 5, 6, 7 placed. I need 2, 3, 4, 8, 9 for the rest of row 9. That's 2 through 9, it can't be 4 or 8. This is anything but 2. Well, that wasn't helpful. Because 2 crosses a region, the only thing it doesn't is 4. Alright, what's going on here? These are not 1, 5, 6, or 9. 
That could be anything, which is moderately annoying. Let me clean up the rest. Okay, that was not helpful. This 8-1 has too few things in it. Uh, these are not 167. That one only has 5 and 9 looking at it. This one has a bunch more. 5 and 9 along with 3 and 4. This one sees 8, 9 by box, 4 by row. Oh, 9 could still be in one of two spots in row 6, which is not hopeful. 2, 7, 8. This looks like that might be a triple. What is this digit restricted by? Th 1, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. It sounds like 2, 6, or 7. So aside from 8, one of those two, and 8 and one of these two, now these can be 8, so this is an 8, and therefore that's not 8, that's 7. So this is a 3-8 pair, which makes that 7. This isn't 7. 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 7, okay. So this is a 3-5-9, but that can be anything out of 3-5-9, I believe. And there's another one. Let's see, this 7 looks up. One two pair, which makes this eight. Uh, a seven looks over. That's a five. This isn't five or seven. This, these two are one nine, which means these are three seven. Yeah, I've got I've got interesting things here, but that five looks down. This is a three. Nine, five. Okay, in fact, none of these are three. And neither is that or that. This isn't nine. So now I've got nine limited to one of those two. No, but this isn't nine. Uh, two, three, that doesn't help us any. Two, three, two, four, three, four, interesting. But, no, oh, five, the column looks down here. Two, four, which makes that seven. Eight, and the column comes down, those are eight. Uh, what else can I do? Not much. Other than strictly look for restricted cells. I don't quite have another breakthrough just yet. This one is not. One, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is two, three, four, or six. I believe. Hemp six could be one of those, and I don't have anything else yet. Uh, this one isn't one five six eight nine uh, one two five six eight nine. This is three four seven. To my knowledge, that's a hidden five. Whoops. So nine, five, that's not nine, this is nine. 
That's a triple, but I won't bother marking it. Two, three, I can't do anything with. Two, four, three, four, three, eight. Interesting. I, okay, what are these? Not five, six, seven, nine. I've got one there. We knew that from those ones. Oh, I don't even have a 1-9 pair that interacts. And is that the whole grid that's filled? Yep. But, okay, I need triples. Uh, that's a hidden three. And the reason I know that's a hidden three, because this is a 2-4-8 triple. So these aren't three. Okay, this can't be three, because three's up here. These can't be three because of this. These could be three, but that's not three because of that. That's not three because of that. So where does three go in row five? It goes one of those two, specifically, which means this is not three, because that's in the same box. Six is there, but that doesn't tell us anything. Three here, but again, that doesn't tell us anything we don't already know. Three, four down there. Yeah, I have to start scanning probably by columns at this point. Seven's here. Nothing else in the box. The column is seven. Eight is strictly here, but nothing else in the column of the box is an eight. Yeah, th this middle band is where I'm struggling. The bottom three rows are pretty much down to nothing but pairs and triples, and as soon as I unlock one of them, the rest of the puzzle is going to unlock just like that. Unfortunately, this could be three. So could that. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we said these were four, right? So that can't be four. Love this. I've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 quintuple here. Any one of the digits that unwinds is going to unwind the rest of them. But I can't do much else with it. Two, four, eight, that's a triple, but that doesn't help us any. Okay, I feel like there's something shouting at me that for whatever reason I'm not seeing it. Triple there, pair and triple there, pair here. Two, four there, that doesn't help me any. Eh? Three's definitely there. Yeah, what am I what am I not seeing here? 
1912 and 29. Oh, 3 7, I think, have to be there, don't they? These two are the only spots for a 3 7 in column 4. This, I don't believe, can be 2. I think that's the breakthrough I was missing. This cell can't be 2 because 1, 2, 9, that's a hidden triple. But I hadn't seen that for a while. If I'd looked a little bit better, I would have seen 3 and 7 could only have gone in those two cells. This extra 2 was throwing me off. So, 3, 4, 7, that's now a triple. This is forced to be a 2, and now I should be off and running. Right? This cell cannot be 2. That's a 2, 4, 8 triple, but this 2 means this is an 8. Therefore, this cell is not 8. This cell is an 8, which makes this 4, that 2, and now much of the rest of this is going to be unwind. 3, 2, uh, 3, 8, 4, 1, 8, 4, 9, 2, 8, 3. Okay, 1 looks up in column 4, which sorts out 9, 1. 1, 2, 9, 2, 1, 6, 1, 7, 6, 4, 2, 3, 7, 4, uh, 3, and 7, and that should be it in 27 minutes. This was not one of my better solve paths, as witnessed by the fact I had to color code quite a bit of things, but those green cells in forest green, those were all crossings that I found. These dark magenta were all hidden digits that I had to find. And that 4 also took some doing, but once I found the rest of it, it was relatively easy. And thank you for joining me this afternoon.